you study the book of Joshua, when God started talking to Joshua, he said to Joshua, as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. Then he says to Joshua, starts giving him the dimensions of his territory. He says, I've given you this land. And he says, it starts from this point and it will go up until this point and it will go up until this point and it will go that way. He says to Abraham, he says, Abraham, from where you stand, he says, look northward. He says, look southward, eastward, westward. He says, as far as you can see, I have given it to you. Why? Because you can have an expansion of a kingdom without increasing its territory. What was the English people looking for in Nigeria? They wanted to increase the dominion and the authority and the rule of the queen. And it's amazing that our forebears submitted to them even though they never saw the queen. So the kingdom of God came to us and we believe in God and we don't need to see him. Who, who understands what I'm saying? We don't need to see him. Scripture says you haven't seen him yet you love him. You know, and you love him so much so that you are filled with joy unspeakable and full of glory. You know, joy unspeakable and full of glory. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. Now, when you study the scriptures, you see that God owns the earth. The Bible says that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The earth, every part of the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Now, when Jesus came to this world, he bought the whole field. Take note of this. He bought the whole field. Now, because he bought the whole field, that was why he could say this. Let's look at a few scriptures and see how much territory our kingdom has. Have you found that in Daniel? Look at this. It says, Thou sowest till a stone was cut out without hands, which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay and break them to pieces. Verse 35. It says, This was the iron... Uh, all right. This was the, then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver, and the gold broken to pieces together. Now look at this. And became like the chaff of the summer threshing floors. And the wind carried them away. That is the previous kingdoms. Now look at this. It says there was no place found for them. And the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. That means this kingdom will continue to expand its territories until this kingdom fills the whole earth. Oh, who is here with me? This kingdom will continue to expand. It will continue to expand. It will continue to expand until it fills the whole earth. That means this kingdom came for global colonization. You know, uh, colonization has a negative um, connotation in the hearts of many people. Because when men try to do what only God can do, they make a mess of it. Come on, did you hear what I just said now? Glory. Glory! When men try to do what only God can do, they make a mess of it. So you see men in trying to expand their agenda, put other men into slavery. But this is the kingdom that wherever this kingdom goes, it makes paupers to become kings. Come on, did you get what I just said now? I mean, when men tried to colonize other men, they made slaves out of them. But when Christ came, he said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. Then he says, I will give you rest. He says, take my yoke upon you, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Everywhere his own kingdom went, 
men were liberated. Men were liberated. Men were liberated. Paul said, I desire so much to come to you that I may impart unto you some spiritual gifts. That in doing this, you may be strengthened, encouraged. You know, encouraged. So this kingdom doesn't come to exploit the natives. This kingdom comes to raise the natives. Jesus looked at the people of his day. He said to them, I am from above. Ye are from beneath. But he says, he says, he says, he says, if the Son of Man be lifted up, is it all I just want to do is to make it to Calvary? He says, as the serpent was lifted up, he says, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. And he says, when he is lifted up, he will draw all men unto himself. You know, he will draw all men unto himself. So this true colonization that Christ came with is not one that leaves men, you know, read or depraved of, of, of their natural resources. Rather, he brings the kingdom of God onto men and bring men into God's kingdom. Come on, who understands that? Do you know part of colonization is to forget your history? Who understands what I'm saying? I, I bet you, you know more about what's happening, in, what's happening in Europe and more of British history and more of American history than you know of the history of your native. You know, if I ask some of you, you don't even know to your fourth generation, your great, great, great grandfather, you don't know their name. But you know Abraham Lincoln. Because part of colonization is to wipe your history.